Hello some viewers how are you all welcome back to another video Today we are going to discuss how can we find the broken links in a web page using selenium one of the most important questions asked in selenium interviews how do you find broken links so we will see a practical example and i'll explain how to you find it what is a broken link etc without any further ado let us start the video so guys till we are in the triple one issue of the chrome version so we'll take the initial code from here so let us copy the entire code so if you want to know like how this code works i'll add the video in the right top corner of this video we can guys can have a look so for the time being i'll just copy this so i don't want this blink settings images enabled equal to false this will make my web page to not to have the images loaded and i don't want the disable notifications also okay and red dot slip don't need comma so now let's dive into the main program what we are trying to achieve so let us see amazon.com or flipkart.com so here i gave driver.get google right so i don't want google so i'll try amazon.com i do believe that amazon might have the broken link So any link which is having the status code more than 400, that will be considered as broken link. 400 is a bad request. 401 not authorized. 404 is not found. 500 service timeout internal server error. The few these are the status status codes of the URLs which is having which are broken links. Okay. So now let us consider the flip card, and I want to. take all the i want to take all the hrefs in the sense i want to take all the links okay before that let me add this so now after the timeout we'll take one list okay this list uh, will be the list of web elements so i'll write here web element and i'll consider these as link as my variable i'll write driver dot find elements by tag name so tag name which has by dot tag name so tag name which tag i'll take i'll name i want to take a tag name a so a will have all the hetra all the urls okay let us take this list also web element just let me hover it i want this one and the list so i want list as java util so driver dot git let it be there so here setting up the chrome driver with capabilities here we are we are storing all the links into a list once i store that into a list so now let us print the size okay first let me print the size of the list okay so that we can know that program is working fine so up to this point so number of links i can write number of links so link dot it will have size since it starts from 0 so i'll write minus 1 okay so let me execute this right click run as java application so let's see how many links it will show chrome driver will start successfully so i'm just uh, not worried about the chrome driver which is launched i'm just worried about the size of the links present in amazon.com so the number of links are 297 okay so it is working perfectly fine so we got the links now what we'll do we'll store the links and we'll check whether the link is broken or not so again we can take a list now this time let me comment this now the list will be here um, the list will store we'll store the link in an array list why we are so storing the link in array list so that we can run a for each loop of that url list okay so now let us run a for each loop i am giving a web element i am just giving a e and i am passing links to, passing each and every link so i'll take string as url so that you will get each and every url i will store it in that So now I'll write e dot get attribute. So attribute in the sense like a will have lots of attributes, right? 
where the URL will be stored. It will be stored in href. So I want all the attributes. We can print this one and we will see whether we are getting a proper list or not. Also we can slowly execute each and everything. For our understanding we will go slowly. And uh, what I will do. Here I will write system.out.println of URL. Okay. So now let's see this. Let's see whether uh, we are getting proper links or not. So now right click run as Java application. Chrome driver has started successfully. So I'm not concerned about Chrome driver. Let's see whether it is giving proper links. First it will print the size. So last time we got 297. Let's see. So it is printing all the links here. Okay. So now let us stop this program. So even this is working fine. So now we'll proceed further. Okay. So now let us check each and every link whether it is broken or not. Here we can write check broken link okay this is a function i'll define this function let me pass url for that okay so let me take this entire method so i'll write public so it should be static method public static and written type will be void so i'll write check i'll copy the same thing i'll paste it here i want a parameter which will be a string so i'll write it here uh, I'll write a link URL and also throw an exception. So I'll write here URL URL equal to new URL of linked URL. So this is the one we are passing it here. Okay. Now let us see the suggestions. So it is giving Java dot slash. Okay. We'll take that one. So URL will work. Better we'll take dot star. Because java.net will have more things. Even in the util we can take. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll take dot star for now. So we'll take this URL. Now we have to have an object. HTTP request. So that is the main thing here. So HTTP URL connection will take. So HTTP URL connection. Here I'll write connection. And I'll type cast it. So without uh, doing that. Let me write just URL dot open connection that's it if you want to resolve the error it will directly give it will add a cache to http url connection that's it it is it is resolved by itself we don't have to have a add a cache by ourselves and it, i can give connection timeout also if the url we are just setting the connection timeout based on the url whether it is taking a lot of time now if connection dot get response code so this is main how do you define a broken link? Any link with a status more than or greater than or equal to 400, we will consider that connection to be or URL will to be a broken link. Guess response code. So greater than or equal to 400. We want to print the link. Okay. And we want to say that it is a broken link. So whatever the link you have given, we want to also specify response code and message i want to write the response code if i want to also see the link with status and write uh, is broken okay i'm just typing whether the link is broken here okay so now let us run this so let's see how it behaves right click run as java.application let me expand this for uh, clear visibility so chrome driver has now started so it will launch amazon.com so we are not concerned about the UI. So we are just concerned about the backend stuff. So here we have added one more method. Is URL valid to check whether malformed URL exception is getting caught. And URI syntax expression also is getting caught. Now we will proceed with the check broker link program. Okay. So now one more thing I will add. I, want, I don't want null link. Okay. So if URL not equal to, if it is equal to null, just don't do it anything. I don't want to run this check broken link. Okay. Now let me run this program. So I'll add this program is URL valid, which I have created another video in the right top corner of this video so that you guys can uh, go through that. So now let me comment this. So now I'll run. I'm just printing the broken links. I'm not printing all the links here. So right click run as Java application. So now I'll click on OK. I have, I'll save the broken links. Now the Chrome driver will be launched. So we are concerned about the backend. 
so we'll see how many links are there and what are the links broken here see the status code of this uh, all are the these are the, all the links which are broken and it's giving status 503 anything above 400 is broken so here you can see status code is 403 which is forbidden or if you don't have subscription you'll get 403 so we are properly executing the list which is broken 503 remember guys these are all the broken links status is 503 i'll put this code in the description if you have more scenarios or if you can execute the code in different manner let me know in the comments below so for the time being hope you have liked the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you are new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye